Good morning. There are a couple of announcements to get to this morning. I just have one, and it's a reminder that this Wednesday is our family faith night here at the church again. It starts at 5.30. We're going to have lasagna, and the theme of the night is love, lasagna, and shuffleboard. We're going to learn how to play shuffleboard. So if you're interested in coming out, if you could just give us a heads up that you'll be attending, we would really appreciate it. I know Denny has an announcement. Thank you, Laura. Good morning, Laura. <laughs> Just want you to think of a number. How many people do you think it takes to uh, run the stuff behind the scenes at a church service? Just think of a number. Including me. You can count me twice. Okay, so the answer, whatever you thought, I'm not going to have you say, the answer is five for sure. We can do sometimes with six or seven because we also have situations, uh, people who leave. For example, I'll be leaving next week for a little over a month. So we still need the same five or six people, just different faces. So think about that. Uh, I enjoy doing it because it makes me feel like I'm part of the service. I'm not just sitting there. I actually listen more when I'm up there doing the sound than if I was in my old pew in the, in the, up there, I might doze off a little bit. But I can't do that when I'm busy. So if you're interested in helping out at all, we would certainly appreciate having you. And Scott's in the other room. Uh, and he can, you can talk to him about it or you can talk to me about it. Uh, but uh, we have three cameras going all the time. One camera, Carlene, is operating. She has the hardest job because it's a stand-up job. Uh, and she usually is always over there, but she's not here every Sunday. And then we have one at the back that faces down, and we have another one right beside the cross, which is uh, our dummy camera, but it takes great shots when we need them. So, but we do need help to make it all work, and sometimes, especially during the, the winter months, it's hard to get help. Just thought I'd mention that. Have a great day. Good morning. Unfortunately, I also am looking for some help. Um, as you know, I'm on the funeral committee, and we're looking for people who could make sandwiches or do baked goods. Unfortunately, a lot of the people that used to do it are no longer available. Either they're ill or not here, or they're, they're unable. So we're desperately looking for people for baking and for sandwich making. Um, if you could come and see me after church, I could um, put you down on a list and you have a choice, sandwiches or baked good, whichever is your preference. Thank you. Just a reminder that tonight is the food handlers, safe food handler course at five o'clock. Uh, we're going to be doing it here with the um, Fairport ladies who are going to be coming. And if I'm right, uh, the Barry, if he's here, we're sp I think he invited the, the uh, ch church members from the Anglican Church as well. So there should be a reasonably good-sized group tonight. If you can bring your laptop, that would be preferable because we are going to be going through some practice questions with Abdul and hopefully... We can, no, it should be no more than three hours, hopefully. So, And then from there, what you'll do is book your own exam for $10 and then write the exam, hopefully. You can do it in either Leamington, in Windsor, and uh, I think Essex as well as the third location. So if you can, uh, it's at 5 o'clock tonight here. Thank you. If there are no other announcements, oh, Carol. Last year's tax receipts are available at the back of the church. If there are no other announcements, let us prepare for worship. 